So far, this thriving and unique coral reef in Red Sea waters off Egypt is a climate change survivor. While warmer waters bleach reefs everywhere, the ecosystem in the Gulf of Aqaba stands strong and may hold the key to receding other reefs if it can survive the crowds of tourists. Obviously, we have, we're, we're in a tourist town, so it's very important with this influx of humans to, to keep awareness high. And, um, you know, most of the town relies on the dive industry. Amy Johnson co-founded the citizen science venture project ASRAC. The Marine Conservation Group educates local communities on how to protect coral reef ecosystems. Basically, we collect data on fish, invertebrates, coral and coral diseases. All the data we collect gives us an insight into the health of the reef. So they're chosen, the species we monitor are chosen specifically because they're indicators of reef health. On this day, the team dives to perform a monthly reef monitoring survey. To conduct their research, the team places a six meter long line and then logs all nearby inhabitants that indicate a healthy ecosystem. Project ASRAC co-founder, Noor El Sawi. One of the things we look for are damselfish. They are very small and reef associated, which means they live in close proximity to the coral reef. They eat the algae. They are farmers. They make sure corals are clean, can breathe, and are not suffocating from algal growth. Tourism draws divers to this coral reef, which forms the backbone of the economy in Dahab. But the industry also adds to the junk piling up on the ocean floor. Team Project ASRAC has a Dive Against Debris initiative where they collect and sort underwater trash, which they then enter into a database that tells them which items cause the most damage in their area. Arash Arabasadi, VOA News, Washington.